Okay, Elizabeth, this is the last video, and this is another, whoops, another area, and Ison's going to tell you about it. Yeah, so we were on the European side. Now we are going to show you a couple neighborhoods on the Asian side. So this is what it is, Kanlıca. So this word here, K-A-N-L-I-C-A, -A, Kanlıca is the name of the neighborhood. So see all these tiny little houses? They are big. They are very big houses. They are right on the Bosphorus. These are multi-million dollar houses probably. They are just so beautiful. They are old. I mean, it's, it's interesting that you have these million dollar houses here and then the rest of Kanlıca in the inner parts of it is basically like regular people. And this, if you get a chance, this Mihrabat Korusu is what used to be one of the hunting grounds of the Sultan. So they had a like small cottage or like mountain house kind of place and they used to hunt here. Of course, there is not much left in that sense. So Kanlıca is one of them on the um, Anatolian side. The other one is um, Çengelköy. So yeah, this is another very old neighborhood. It's called Çengelköy, and this is how it's spelled. That's C with a tail, Ç, E N G E L K, O with the dots, Ö, Y. Çengelköy is the name of the neighborhood. So this is again on the Bosphorus. This is still Bosphorus. And there are these houses on the Bosphorus, just like in Kanlıca. And there are a couple places, very small, where you can have like smith and tea. Um, Anatolian side of Istanbul is so much less commercial than the European side. So most of these places are neighborhoods and um, like places people would go to on a daily basis, rather than like, I don't think you would ever... If you lived in Beşiktaş, come to Çengelköy or Kanlıca to do anything. But if you lived in Kanlıca or Çengelköy, anything and everything you need in your life is basically there. And actually they have a picture here. Like if you look at these houses, these used to be the traditional uh, architecture in Istanbul, wooden houses. But of course, I think 80% of them burned down because wood isn't really the best idea, I guess. But... Um, it's another traditional Turkish Istanbul neighborhood where the streets are very tiny, everything is on top of each other, but somehow it's still very cute. <laughs> um, so in Kanlıca, yogurt is very famous. Now that we know you like Ayran, you probably like yogurt too. They say the Kanlıca yogurt is supposed to be really thick, the really good one, that you should be able to cut it with a knife. That's mm. how thick the yogurt is supposed to be. Um, I think in terms of the neighborhoods, that's it. You know, Istanbul is crazy in traffic. So I would suggest like, don't go between the continents in a day and do like the European side in one day and then dedicate another day for the Anatolian side. And you can always like take a cab and go through this street that you see it changes its name, but you can go through like the seaside by the Bosphorus all the way from the southmost point to the northmost point. And you can just hop off when you see something nice, like take a walk, take some pictures and um, get back on it. And uh, since you are staying in Beyoğlu, if you want to go to the Anatolian side, I would suggest you from Beyoğlu, you take a cab or you take one of the buses to Beşiktaş. And then from Beşiktaş, you take a small um, boat to Üsküdar. And Üsküdar is spelled... Okay, this one. Üsküdar, Turkey. So from Beşiktaş to Üsküdar, you can take these small boats they're almost like um, sea taxis, taxis mm. here. So they are very small, but um, 
they are the fastest form of, of transportation if you want to decide like to take one of these bridges the traffic will be awful so once you get from Beşiktaş to Üsküdar you are on the Anatolian side and then depending on where you want to go you can take a cab you can take one of the buses there are all sorts of transportation options but I would always suggest sea transportation between the two continents rather than like going on the bridges which are just awful in traffic and then Taksim. Um, Nishantaşı is a nice place to walk around. Yeah, so Taksim is in Beyoğlu, so you will be staying there. So this is where, you said this is Gezi Parti is where the protests were. İstiklal mm -hmm. Caddesi is here between Beyoğlu and Taksim. And Erkan is talking about Nishantaşı, which is very close to Taksim. It's So Beyoğlu is here, Nishantaşı is here, like this is Golden Horn, so this is Bosphorus, this is Golden Horn, mm -hmm. this is where Nishantaşı is. Nishantaşı is um upper middle class or upper class neighborhood in Turkey, it's very nice, there is shopping there, there are uh, good cafes, restaurants, um, there is nightlife there, um, and this People is how watching. it's spelled. Yeah, you could just sit on a chair in a cafe and watch people. There are all sorts of them. <laughs> like the super rich um, to the homeless who somehow ended up there. To college students, to tourists, everybody ended up there. And that's true for Beyoğlu too. Um, that it? Yeah, I think that's it for... Thank you, Aysen. Thank you so much. Bye. Did you talk about... Although we can, I know it's good. Yeah. Okay. So, so we. I can't get this stopped. That's okay. She can stay with us. <laughs> hmm. Barbara, what is the Chinese restaurant that you brought?